The digital revolution is shaking up the banking industry, and the rules of the game have changed in a big way. Customers who know a lot about technology have higher hopes for the financial services business. But new regulatory and compliance barriers make it very hard for you to sell your business. In this uncertain market, the business won't be able to do well if it only uses traditional and old-fashioned marketing methods. Today, many banks offer services online. If financial institutions want to stand out in the financial services business, they need to focus on giving their customers the best experience possible. They should switch to digital tools to make things clearer and more efficient. In this video, we'll look at the most useful ways that financial services businesses use digital marketing. What does marketing for banking services mean? Financial services marketing is the process of promoting the goods and services of companies in the financial and banking sectors. Through a number of ongoing marketing activities, the goal of marketing financial services is to get people to know about them, bring in prospects, and turn them into loyal customers. Financial services marketing can be used by commercial banks, financial technology companies, financial advice firms, credit unions, accounting firms, insurance companies, investment banks, and mutual funds, among others. Marketers in finance make content for specific groups, such as individual customers, commercial companies, healthcare facilities, and educational institutions. There are two major ways to market financial services, digital marketing and traditional marketing. Digital marketing uses both inbound and outbound channels, such as blogs and PPC ads. Most companies that offer financial services use both standard and digital marketing. Still, most companies use traditional promotion because it's what they've always done. At the same time, digital marketing tactics are becoming more popular because they work well to reach customers. For example, financial services companies can talk directly to possible customers on social media and help them online. Also, digital outlets let sales and marketing teams make experiences that are more tailored to each user's preferences and needs, which helps keep customers coming back. What makes the marketing of banking services different? Financial services marketing is different from marketing in other industries because there are usually more rules and restrictions. These rules and restrictions come from the government, advertising standards, and different regulatory groups. So, most companies that offer financial services use tried and true methods and make marketing materials that could be more exciting and effective. Commoditization is the other problem that marketers face when trying to sell goods from financial companies. This term refers to the idea that a business's goods and services can be swapped out for those of a competitor. Because most financial goods are the same, it's hard for companies to make theirs stand out and market them. With the growth of digital tools, tech-savvy customers expect the same smooth digital experiences they have when using Google, Facebook, and Amazon. But financial service companies often need more resources to put these complicated technologies into place. Because of this, traditional businesses find it hard to compete with fintech startups that offer digital services. Also, digitalization led to marketers using three or more platforms in the same campaign. Because of this, traditional financial businesses didn't have enough money to pay for the omnichannel marketing efforts. It's also hard for businesses to stand out from the crowd and reach the right people when the market is very competitive and people don't trust businesses. MasterCard did a survey and found that only 55% of customers trust their banks, while 39% have no view one way or the other. Also, after the 2008 financial crisis, changes to the financial markets have made it harder for consumers to believe them. This makes it harder for marketers of financial services to make a real connection with their audience. Even with these problems, digital marketers can still find ways to deal with them. Also, we'll talk about the marketing plans that will help change the way competition works in the financial services industry and make sure the company does well in an uncertain future. Plans for Marketing Financial Services Let's look at seven ways to sell financial services that will help you get more leads and turn them into customers who stick with you. We will think about optimizing the website, email marketing, social media marketing, and other methods. Optimization of a website. Even though older generations are more used to standard marketing methods, digital natives like millennials and Generation Z have different expectations. They want to do as little business with people as possible and do everything online. 
To meet the needs of digital natives, financial services businesses should focus on website optimization and make their sites secure, easy to use, search engine optimized, and quick to load. The website for a business that provides financial services should be fast and easy to use. The form shouldn't take away from what's inside. Customers go to your website to find information or do something, so its parts should be set up in a way that makes sense and makes searching easier. You can add a search bar and clear call to action buttons. Use a tool like Hotjar or Microsoft Clarity to track heat maps and scrolling behavior to find out where users are having trouble. For the best user experience, security is also very important. Security worries are one reason why people leave their carts. Because of this, you should use HTTPS instead of ATTP. TLS or transport layer security is used by the HTTPS protocol to protect HTTP requests and keep data transfer safe. When a customer signs into their bank account or enters a password, this keeps their private information safe. Optimization for search engines. SEO, which stands for search engine optimization, is a marketing technique that helps people looking for financial services find your business online and make it stand out from the competition. By using the right keywords on your website, customers will be able to find it with just one search. Your website will also be more noticeable and get more traffic from search engines. Also, if you have a good SEO plan, people will see your website at the top of the page. SEO strategy means keeping an eye on how customers act, looking at recent trends in the financial industry, and keeping track of what your rivals are doing to improve their SEO. The first step in putting the plan into action is to study and optimize keywords. Use tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush to find keywords that are good for your website and find out which ones your competitors are using. Then you'll need to add keywords to the title, meta descriptions, and alt tags. The next step is to make sure that Google can index your page. There are more than 200 ranking factors for the search engine, so you need to take a series of steps to make your website more visible in Google search results. First, make a roadmap that helps search engines find their way around the site. Second, you should sign up your page with Google Search Console. It's a free tool that lets people keep an eye on how well their website does in search results and find any problems that might stop it from working. You should also think about domain reputation. It depends on how old, big, and well-known the site is. If your website has been around for a long time, has a lot of high-traffic pages with great content and links to other sites, and has a lot of high-quality backlinks, you have a great place to start. Content marketing. Unique, useful, and high-quality content is another thing that has a big effect on how well your website does. Content marketing is an important part of your digital marketing plan because it helps build trust and makes the user experience better. You can make different kinds of content, like blogs, social media posts, news stories, infographics, movies, case studies, and white papers. The key to success is making useful content that keeps customers interested and gets them to react and share more. Publications that get people interested and teach them something are examples of valuable material. For example, you can write case studies or blog posts that offer solutions to the financial problems of your customers, tell success stories, and explain how your goods and services help solve their problems. When making content, look at it from the point of view of a typical user who doesn't know common banking terms like fiscal period, income versus profit, APR versus interest rate, and so on. Use a conversational tone instead of a commanding one in your writing and messages. Even though the financial industry has been using formal language to give the image of professionalism for a long time, people are getting tired of it. This is starting to change, though, as financial institutions start to use a more casual tone in all of their interactions. Email marketing. Email marketing is one of the best ways to reach people online. Once your website is optimized, you can start collecting the contact information of your online leads and clients so you can stay in touch with them. It is a great way to make the customer's experience more unique. You can do this with tools like Automazy that you can connect to your CRM or other systems. So, your email banking software will be in sync with your client information, letting you send personalized emails. 
Start with welcome emails and training letters to make a good first impression about the company and get the attention of new customers right away. Then you can send monthly or yearly newsletters to your customers to keep them up to date and give them a chance to see how your financial services business works. Through email, you can offer deals on life insurance or mortgages or let people know about new goods or features. Use simple copy, animated GFs, and emojis in texts. Your email list followers will be more interested and it will be less boring for them to learn about budgeting and saving. Social Media Marketing People now expect to see their favorite brands on social media, and that includes banks and other financial companies. Social networks are also a great way to spread the word about your content and send people to your website. By responding to comments and direct messages, you can talk to your audience, get them more involved, help customers, and respond to feedback in a good and timely way. First, figure out which social media sites your group uses the most. Each social network needs its own plan for what to post. Use the best parts of each site and keep your customers' needs and preferences in mind. Then, start sharing useful material and telling stories that make your brand seem more like a person. In a field like finance, which many people find too impersonal, having a personality and having real talks with your audience can set you apart from the competition. Use social media stars to get your customers to trust you. By picking the right influencers to promote your financial service, you can also easily reach out to new people. To get the attention of millennials, you need to know that only 16% of them understand money. Also, many people don't spend because they don't know enough about how to do so. So you can ask influential people to explain simple financial ideas in plain English. Video Marketing some financial topics might be too big or complicated to cover in a blog post or even a novel. Instead, your financial group could make webinars and videos to teach people. Make videos with instructions to help customers with things like planning, getting a loan, investing money, and other things. Webinars are a good way to show your customers that you are an expert in your field. Most people think of financial institutions as being impersonal, formal, and cold. A webinar event is a great way for financial companies to show a more human side. Webinars can help you get more leads because they offer more value than most other forms of marketing. If your invitation to a webinar is interesting enough, prospects will sign up for it. Also, running a webinar is a great way to learn more about your audience. This style makes it easier for potential customers to ask questions or voice concerns that they might not have done in a different setting or on a different platform. If you want more important results from your conference, you should do it with key partners. It improves your relationships with businesses or influencers whose goods or services go well with yours and gives you a great chance to market to new audiences. Working with other financial services businesses is a great way to boost the value of your brand. PPC ads PPC advertising is one of the best ways to get leads, rank higher for relevant keywords, get traffic right away, and bring in people who are interested in what you have to offer. There are different kinds of paid ad campaigns, such as targeted ads, search ads, display ads, and promotions on social media sites. When you retarget ads, you show them to people who have already been to your website. When someone types in a search question, search ads show up at the top of the search results. Customers see display ads when they are on linked websites. People can find your business on social media through paid social media ads. Whether you use search advertising, display advertising, retargeting, or all of the above, a PPC plan is still useful. Use homepages that have a clear goal. Make it clear to your customers why they should use your banking services. Do study on keywords. Remember that most potential clients will use Google to look for help with their money problems. By doing phrase research, you can focus on what people are looking for and make your PPC ads more visible to the people you want to see them. Last but not least, make a budget. Set clear goals from the start to get the most out of the money you spend on ads. Once you know what the best marketing tactics for financial services are, you can start using them. So let's first look at how other businesses do it. Some ways that banking services are marketed. 
we'll show you three examples of marketing for financial services that will help you figure out how to make a marketing plan for your own business. Wealthsimple is a Canadian online platform for managing assets that presents itself as a financial advisor. The company uses email to increase customer engagement, reduce the number of customers who leave, help customers understand the benefits of their goods, and get the most out of their sales marketing efforts. Also, emails are a great way to upsell to current customers and make more money from them. Through webinars and how-to videos, TD Bank teaches its users how to invest their own money. They show professionals sharing knowledge and tools so that companies can better handle transactions. Also, TD Stories were made by a company that won the 2022 Content Marketing Award. This is a digital hub where TD Bank offers financial tips and advice, talks about new technologies that can make experiences more personalized, tells the stories of its employees, and shares the ideas of the company's top leaders. Prudential is a well-known name in the financial services industry. The company has a unique way of marketing through social media. They focus on business clients on LinkedIn and connect with them through different types of material. Prudential made a campaign called Thought Leader of the Week that included interviews, white papers, and articles from top employees. This approach helped the company become known as a thought leader in its field and helped its employees build their own brands. Whether people contact you through your website or an app, the best way to sell financial services is to focus on the customer. The most important thing is to know what problems people have, how to solve them, and how to keep people happy. The methods and trends we talked about in this piece will help you come up with your own plan for digital marketing.